Hello guys, come back to another video. Today, I'm here with that two iPhone part lot. You can see, here we got two iPhone 5S's. Paid $10 for this lot. Come with three batteries. Got two iPhone 5S's. And I started tearing them apart. Tearing them apart. And I'm going to show you condition of all them first of all see this has got a crack here a dent here pretty messed up on the sides and that's cracked I don't know if I see that it's cracked and bent it's bent a little bit it's missing tons of screws and that kind of broke it right here broke that part there and this is the one that I believe the screen went to I think the home button would go to it but I'm not sure now I come with these two batteries with this one it's got a little bulge out of it so I don't think that's any good anymore so I'm just going to put that on the side and now let me show you this one now this is the other one which I thought it had scratches on it right here dirt as you can see I got the screen on this one this is the one I think is okay now let me get this other one out the way which so I'm just going to get this battery out the way put the other battery further away okay now let me first start by opening it I gotta disconnect the cable for the touch ID but before I do this actually let me show you now I did actually get it to show something on the screen see the screen now this shows the Apple logo but this doesn't work I don't know if the battery's dead or if that pins had a or broke off of a display connector has anything to do with it which I'll show you in a minute but my plans you see it turned red on the screen now I tried putting this in GFU mode and so this is connected to my computer right now this cable so let me try to do that all I'm doing is pressing the power button for two seconds and then pressing them both 15 seconds and then I'm taking my finger off the power button and then it should go into iTunes but it's not and I'm not sure if the battery's broken that's why it's doing this because it's actually boot looping as you saw now it's in iTunes ooh 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 Look, 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 look. Please choose an installation type. Okay, install. Okay, let me get my computer open. Install from images, reinstall OS. Erase the device before reinstall OS. Okay. We'll erase all the content. And this is. Oh, this is iMazing. It's not what I want. That isn't the right software. I was going to use that, but I guess iTunes will work <laughs> better. Let's see. Uh, no. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Update, restore to update your iPhone without erasing your content. To restore your iPhone. To <laughs> yes, now I checked and made sure these weren't iCloud lock so I don't think this phone is iCloud lock which I hope it's not iCloud lock sorry for this bad quality I'm just not a professional no got my mouse here <laughs> um it's restoring the iPhone now I assume but let, let me see 
Let me show you what's happening on the screen. Let me get the controller center. Oh yeah, I just zoomed in. Okay, yeah, there we go. Now as you see, it's got the iTunes thing on the screen. And I did get a new display for this. Now let me see. Store. Done. I think it's restoring it now. Um, I'm not sure. Just downloading the software for the iPhone and we'll restore your phone when the download is complete. Okay. Now I'm not going to speed this up. I'm just going to show you the other phone. Oh, this is doing its thing which I'm hopefully gonna take the home button out and the camera stuff out so I can put that on the big screen when it comes but I'm just gonna show you more up close of this one now oh <laughs> motherboard can just come out that is jank <laughs> And this is how I got it. I didn't remove no screws except you got this bin right here. I only removed like one screw just to get the touch ID out, which on the phone, but it didn't need that anyway. Didn't take nothing off, but I'm going to disconnect this. And what do we oh, we're still connected. Now here's the motherboard, which, yeah, it's not that good to be honest. I had to bend the pin, right here as I said, bend it. Why can't my iPhone 13 zoom in, but I bent it right there. And it's, it's missing a screw here. Missing most of the screws there, and I would say this was in better condition, but if it wasn't bent, let's see can I straighten it out or is it bent is that bent no I think it is but I just want to I just hope that the other the phone is starting to work okay it's down with the software still but um look, we got a charging port which is <laughs> missing a few screws now I did order the screws for that one well, it will be for that one because this one, yeah, it's uh, not fixable. Now, unless you know how to solder one of these back on, yeah, it was just a cat that would not work. Now, maybe I could take all the parts off of this one just in case that lot, maybe had the other lot, I bought a 10 iPhone 5s, needed these parts then maybe I would do it. Maybe, maybe I might swap them out too. Let me see. Uh, and that's pretty scratched up. Oh, sorry, my Alexa's going off. Put her on mute so she can't say nothing. No, that one's, I guess it's nicer. The top one's cracked. And these are cheap to get. Like, I can get new housing for this, but the, the housings aren't cheap. It's just the um, other things. Cheap. This the glass around the, the back right here. And I assume that the thing's holding the charge now. I'm not sure. Now, the other phone had a SIM card in it. Trying to take it out, but I don't have nothing strong enough, so I have to probably find something. But yeah, I was just walking around there. I don't see how you can lose this many screws because that's one, two, four, four super screws. Come off. Okay, now I just put the 
grab her back in there. Needed to. No. Looks like it's working. I don't. I don't know because the display is uh, a little broken. But I think it's okay. I'll just get back to you when it's done getting restored. We got a situation. It's not letting me, not letting me restore it. So what I'm going to do, switch the charging port, because I already switched the cable out, thinking it may have been the cable that was an officially Apple, official Apple cable. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna unplug the battery. dangerous because I didn't power it off but I couldn't obviously have powered it off anyway so that's why I didn't do that I'm just gonna unplug the display and I'm gonna switch the charging port out okay let me make sure it's in there. I got screwdrivers to do so now I don't know how I would do the charging port and I'm just gonna do it as I did see Uh, to be honest, I don't know what screws what. First try, I get the right one. I know y'all can't see this, but I know. Maybe it's second try. Yeah, no, that's the right one. Looks like. I know, I know. Um. Is that a Phillips head? Wait a minute. It's a Phillips head? What? I don't know what screws are, to be honest. again I know y'all can't really see it but I'll show you in a minute okay that was for the corner thing okay and then we got two small little things at the bottom right here which I guess is holding the extra charging port in itself is that Phillips head again? I got it. No, I don't know if uh, the port's actually bad. But I know that it could be bad, so. That's a speaker. This thing right here, I believe, is a speaker. Which I don't think I'll be installing on the old phone. I think I'll be installing it back on this one. So that one's just dangling there. And I did get screws and shields for it. You know you probably don't need them. Okay. Let's see. It's holding it in now. It's stuck to the board. It'd be crazy if it was just stuck here. I'm gonna get it out. 
I mean, you must be able to get the charging port out, right? professional on this by no means oh am I breaking it no it's just glued in place okay I'll just taped in place okay now this surprisingly no screws at all literally no screws I don't know how the seller lost this many screws but he did so yeah the seller's probably watching this because i gave it my channel probably hearing me say how bad of a job he was doing <laughs> for real but but it's fine he wants to get mad at me he can but it's not in the movie here, and what the heck was that bracket? I uh, don't know. I don't know what that bracket was for, but... Nah, it's not important, right? What the heck? Hold on the steel. Shoot. What's that not coming off? Tweezers are crap. That piece that broke off to get. Oh, darn. What is it not coming off for? Okay, there we go. Thank you. No, um, yeah, let's remove this one speaker right here, which I don't know nothing about this device to be on a show. All I know is that this port is not working ish. No, it could be working fine. I just don't know. And that's the whole point. You don't know. You don't know. Maybe this up. Oh, it looked like the same ports, to be honest. So, yeah. And some dirt in there. Check the headphone jack. One of them had something in the headphone jack, but, uh, you know, I'm not sure where these screws go. So, how don't we try to figure it out? Process of elimination, correct? Mm. Why the head's magnetic? Every part but it? No, I'm just thinking of stuff now. Hmm. This really does get me some experience, though. In working with them. working on these devices now I know how to do this so when I go to do it again I'll know how to do it like I said before this is missing tons of screws and oh, I don't see some of them Seller's post, but I didn't know it was <laughs> this many. Hmm. 
Just like a couple. All right, I can do a couple in this one. Thing. Oh. Mm. No. And this is the one that was worse. It didn't have no camera. I sense pulling in there, but. No, it's just gonna. I don't know if that. It needs to be like a long screw, doesn't it? Mm. Oh. <laughs> it's not in there all the way, wait a minute. Computer just powered off. Whatever for now. I don't need my computer to try to restore it. If I can't even do this, then the point of restoring it. trying to get this headphone jack in and it appears to not want to it appears to not want to go in even though it can it just you know, like some things are just stubborn it's like it could go in or it could not go in Look, it was just a little crooked, and I don't, I don't know. I think these are the screws that went there because there was two of them. Let's see. Let's see if I try to force it. This doesn't wake up. Let me make sure the charging part when it goes. Charger goes in well, maybe. No, I think everything is where it needs to be. It's just that it's not working. And it's come undone. I don't know why. But this. that plug this thing back in right here or did I not have it plugged in I really can't be spending too much time doing this one cable but Okay, just making sure it's in on the way. Okay, now it's in. And I don't know. Did it seem like it's in correctly? I mean, the church would been in, but. Oh, was that. Nothing else? I just realized the headphone jack is not the same color. And yeah, it's not lined up. So, oh, I see. I see what I did. I don't know if it's wrong technically, but I see what I did. Now there's a bracket, right? Here, I don't know if you can. Is that too close? No, that's good. It's a bracket right here, and it's supposed to be underneath of the bracket. The um bracket's supposed to be underneath the screw, and well, it's not. 
And I think that's why it's a little messed up. But I could be wrong. And okay, it's not it's not going out. Now let's see. It's not all lined up correctly. But that could happen sometimes. It just don't get lined up all correctly. That will make sure this time before I. Is it a. What is it? Gotta be an angle? Is it supposed to be an angle? Let me see. Let me try to put a screw in there. See where it lines up at. Screws are tiny. I've run out of storage on my phone. Had to fix that from fix it. But um, I'm trying to get this thing on screw to go, but it's not. It's not like lining up for some reason. I don't know why, but let's, let's actually see something real quick. This housing could be bent. I don't know if that part is bent, because this is the... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I think... I think I did it. No. <laughs> I think I did it and I did not do nothing. Uh, I guess it just does not. I guess it just does not do it. That's what I thought happened, but. Looks like this table is right there, as you see. Yes. It looks like the Touch ID cable is there. I don't know what that means. Touch ID is stored there? That's just a connector for it. I think it's just a connector for it. Uh, can I get this in the holes now? I'm going to this work in a minute. You see that? Not really lining up. Oh, wait, wait. Uh -huh. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Are they starting to line up? Do I have them down there? No. no. I think it is, wait a minute. And I did not stick to the screwdriver like it should have. But whatever. Um, no, it's just not. Not. Like this original one like that? Or is that one? Oh, there's the problem. This piece goes to the side of it, which does not look like it's up there. <laughs> which is definitely not up there. Well, that's not going to change much, is it? Mm. But what if that was the whole problem? Since that is not up there, it's not working. No, I don't assume that that's the thing. 
It's causing it not to work. But you, but you know, what do I have to lose? And it keeps flinging everywhere. It doesn't want to stay right there, but no better than that. It wants to be right where it's meant to go, which is here. It's at right now. It's meant to be where it's at right now. Okay, now let me get the. Whatever these are, whatever this is. Nope. Nope, the tweezers are not working correctly. Oh. Kind of started working, but... Not. Wait a minute. I think I got it on. Well, that's a term that's not true. <laughs> They're not getting on at all. If this is broken, but again, I have to keep mentioning some stuff that I already mentioned because mm, I don't know, do I? Oh, it was like sticky, kind of like glued on. But it didn't move anywhere. But now, of course, it's not. Let me take the part real quick. I'm gonna put a screw in it. Maybe a screw will hold that in place. Hold it in place better than. Nothing, you know. And... Oh! And... Is it... No... It's almost, though. Pretty good. It's, it's about to go in, I thought. But then it wouldn't. If you do it with the port, oh, I should. <sighs> this stuff starts to make me mad. Now let's get back to you when I get this screw right. in. Finally got it in. Got the whole thing in now. I don't know if I did the best, but it's in. It's fine. To me. Now I'm gonna plug the whole cable in. Make sure I plug this antenna thing in. Come on now. I'm gonna plug this in first. I should get the charging port where I'm at. Let me just. Well, nope, I'm gonna do that one. With the charging port. Oh, dang, 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 dang. Don't mess anything up, Cole. I just. You just gotta. Do it. Just do it. Is that kind of the neutral? Mm. 
Well, it's sitting crooked. Wait a minute. Okay. Now this speaker is trying to get incorrectly. And I do not know if it is going to go in correctly. But I got a whole nother parts phone. That's what that one has turned into. Because that bracket on one of the sides was a little bit in. Oh, that one's a little bit too, to be honest. But, oh, okay. <laughs> Yep, it is, it is sitting flat, okay. Get one of these little screws. So teeny tiny. I probably should have did the other one first, but whatever. You gotta have a good memory. I'm gonna do it like this, but... But I don't, so... I guess I'm just screwed. Okay. I did get the bracket in. Good. Good, good, good. Now, I'll try to scavenge some screws so I can at least try to get most of the screws in down there. Which, I did manage to find a nice one to go in the corner right here. And that's a small one. So I'll put them in a bin right here. So a small one should have another small one somewhere. But whatever, it doesn't. Okay. I believe this battery is good. That's a good thing. And well, I'm ready to try to test this. So. Okay. Put that in. Put that in. Right there, then I have. I'll put the battery in. I'll put this little connector here and right there. Next. Let's see if I can get the connector in there first. Like it goes to the buttons and the volume buttons. I'm going to want to get that in, and I kind of did break two off of the volume buttons, or no? I thought that, no, that's the power controller or something, but that's not appear to be going in, but it was in. And I believe it was in. believe it's in but I'm not too sure to be honest there appears to be in now if I'm doing something wrong y'all y'all just let me know in the comments and say Cole you didn't plug this in or dang you really don't know how to connect that which I probably don't to be honest yeah when you buy these darn screwdrivers you start to screw up screws like this one right here you did, you strip, totally strip that screw, dude. Is there any other screws in here that I could use? Oh, there's a couple at the top, another one. But they look small, so I'm just not even gonna do them. Okay, let's plug the bad, broken, old screen back in. Now, y'all should know how to do this easily. But if 
you don't, then, yeah, you're just like me. <laughs> People make this look easy on YouTube, and it's just a lot harder in real life. They don't make everything. I don't think everything's like YouTube. I post on YouTube, but I got no prior experience on fixing phones at all. Kid that interested in doing this stuff, and hmm. oh, come on. I probably can guarantee you, this person had an old iPhone 5S broken, or maybe he wanted to see what the insides looked like, and just took it apart for fun. And it happens, people do that. That cable come unplugged right here. It's gonna go back on though. Let me make, let me unplug the battery real quick, just so I can get this cable plugged in right there. Which doesn't appear to want to get plugged in. Let's see, it just it could be broken actually. bad thing it was broken because there'd be no way to fix this phone I'm trying to fix this phone and it's definitely not going to be fixable probably why it's only ten dollars because he doesn't know how to fix something himself Broke everything on it. I think, I think it's plugged in, but kind of, but kind of not plugged in at the same time, so I don't know. I feel like I'm starting to get the hang of this stuff. Though, it's not really coming naturally. It probably won't come naturally to some people. Okay, well, that was easy. Okay, well, let me plug it into my computer and see what it does. No. Let's see. Oh, shit. finagle it in there but um I don't know if it needs battery to turn on and boot it's plugged into the charge but it could so tell us just do it <laughs> let me check my computer real quick just in case just in case something pops up on iTunes Okay, let's see. Is it cutting on? Oh, it's just not that good. Oh, oh. Oh, it says your iPhone can't be updated. You must restore it. Okay. <laughs> restore and update. Restore and update it. Re just, I'm going to restore it. But ain't nothing showing up on the screen. I might have, or it might have been broken. I don't know if the screen's broken or whatever. 
I know this frame is broke, but it still shows some picture. It just doesn't doesn't work. Yeah, because <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's all you see on the screen. That tends to screw us up. No, I hope I don't have to touch nothing on the screen because yeah, that is not happening, y'all. Just forget about it. <laughs> iPhone cannot be restored. So I really don't know what this error is. Because it keeps saying error it cannot be restored, but like come on, just restore it. Just restore my freaking iPhone right here. You know? Like it says, the problem has been fixing. The problem may be fixed by updating your phone. But then it says you must restore it. Oh. So I'm going to try to update it. I don't know why it's not restoring or whatever. It needs to do. But I hope it will. I just got that feeling that... That's why he's not, or whoever owned it, is not actually been able to fix it. Or maybe I have to hit something on the screen. I do not know. But I can, I can always look it up, to be honest. Okay, well, let me see. Error 2009. Hmm. Update your... You can put the device bipod and take computer's speed port, not want to touch the keyboard or the speed hub. Okay, that, that's honestly something to think about. Maybe you can't just plug it into the front of my computer. Maybe I just want to plug it into the back of my computer, which, you know, doesn't make much sense, but heck, it might do something different. Look at the new Apple charger with the USB. Let me see on the back. I got one port. I don't know if I got, I got one USB type of port. I don't know if um, I got the USB in the back. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna have to relaunch iTunes. Wait a minute. I'm starting to restore it now. Just gonna see what happens. Maybe it needs more battery to restore it. Or maybe the battery's bad and that's why I'm unable to restore it. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's on the setup screen right now. And maybe it's already been restored so I can't restore something that's already been restored. But I doubt 
any of that. Since it has a broken screen. I don't know. Maybe it's just not working on my computer. But I doubt that either. Because I have been able to do some other stuff. Other devices. Not taking that one, but having all this stuff for other devices, so I don't know if it's that. Or what I like if it is. The screen is cut off, so maybe it is doing something. And maybe that did fix it. It says it's waiting for iPhone. Waiting for iPhone to do what? Maybe it needs to click something on the screen. Wait a minute. Alright guys, I think I figured out the problem. It's because the screen's not working. You know, I think I have to click trust this computer on the screen when it prompts me to. And I can't do that because I don't have the screen working. So I'm going to wait till I get to new screen to do that. But I will at least for the now. At least for now. Get all this stuff. And then it's literally just not connected. I just notice that this is not connected right there. Which at least like is a problem, but it could be an issue. Battery for just a second. I want to see if this is broken. I think it's broken, but I'm not feeling that it's not not right. Here's something from the other phone that I will remove. Remove this little black little thing, but. shows you everything is plugged in and it'll be better at least make it look more original and that's what originally what you would have on your phone we're not using that old other one might as well make it look nice we can. Hmm. That? Let me zoom in right now. Everything is blurry. I just don't know why this is going on. Seems like it wants to go in, but it's just not letting it go in itself. Other one have trouble. Does this other one have trouble? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That one is having a little bit of trouble too. Yeah. It up there. Hmm. Why is it not going in? Is that broken then? Or is that just not know how to do it? Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's not broken. 
I really don't know. Huh. Sure, y'all. It's just a little tedious process. Trying to do, I'll probably do that off camera. See what's wrong. But let's get that screen chat changed. No. Looks like we got two screws down here. A couple of screws holding Touch ID in, which I don't think Touch ID will be working on this device again. But I think at least we need it for the home button. I forget what screw it is. I thought it was the Phillips head. Was it the Phillips head? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe it doesn't. No, it probably does. It just... I could probably rip it, rip it out without even taking it out. But I don't want to do that. Which one is it? Oh, it was the Phillips head. Okay. I was about to say, what the heck? It looked like a Phillips head to me. No, I'm not going to break the camera. I'm just going to gently pry it out the way. There's another screw, actually. One more. I didn't see before. Just right here. Seems freaking damaged. Like, dang. So you see, you got the little bracket here. I don't know where the camera's at. Little bracket here, and a little piece of glass. Always nice. Always nice to see glass pop off when I do that. Because that's how you know the spring wasn't bad. Let's just see. Yeah, that's split right in half. Which I'll have to be disposing of this like immediately. Is this something you can throw in the can? Because I would just throw it in the can anyway. But I guess there's literally nothing good about this screen anymore. Nothing I care about off of it or nothing. Something that goes right there. Okay. Let that thing fall moving right there. Sorry, it just got mangled in the glass that is <laughs> just gonna want to take the whole glass off it. Which we can't do. No, <laughs> not trying to break it, man. Let's just knock the screws out. They're not gonna look. They're none of them are coming out. That's probably what the problem is. Is that screw? Do you need anything? No. Oh, it's got the bracket. 
I don't think it's been yet. Maybe a little bit. I don't know. Because is that actually... Oh, the new one comes with display. Oh, the new one comes with a camera on it, so... I don't have to put one myself. Camera's still in there. So I'm not gonna damage it because I just can. It's just not what we can do. What we're going to do. And look, that come off. I don't know if that comes off, it needs to come off. Are these display connectors? I don't think anything else needs to come off. Okay, no. This green is definitely beat up. It's really damaged. No. I will put this. I will put this. And I will put this in my. Thing. Get lost because you cannot replace touch ID. Learn it the hard way. Learn it the hard way. You can't replace it. Now, trying to, try to connect this in there. I don't know if it comes in there anymore. Or what's broken. Sometimes I think I got it in there. Like, did I get it in there? There's something to do with the power, but I'm not sure actually. Alright, y'all can tell me what I'm doing wrong, and like the video, subscribe, I'll see you in the next one.